The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. It is telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered. Sometimes feel like Mission Impossible. And Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Jerry, welcome back. Thanks. It's good to be here. All right. So what's our storytelling tip this week? It's storytelling tip this week is to use your nut paragraph to give us a reason to stick around. Whoa, 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 mister. This is an FCC family-regulated show. Wait, wait, you... Did you say nut paragraph i did you know last week we talked about using your lead to sort of grab our attention and absolutely that's all the lead needs to do is to yes, grab our attention first sentence sort of the bling of your story right well once you've done that once you've grabbed our attention then what do you do next and that you have to give us a reason to care and a reason to listen to the rest of what you do and right. that's your nut paragraph it's sort of your story in a nutshell this, this is your nut paragraph yeah that's right and it actually it's a, it's actually a shortened form of nutshell paragraph. It's your story in a nutshell. Oh, all right. Okay. I can and go with that. It, basically, there was one I, one observer said that it allows readers to understand why the heck they were invited to the party, <laughs> and why they should seriously consider attending. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's a journalism term, so most people who haven't spent some time in a newsroom haven't heard it, and actually there's some people in newsrooms that haven't heard it, and some of them aren't as good a writers as they could be as a result of that. I but, understand. But, you know, once upon a time, newspaper stories almost always started out by saying something happened today or yesterday, and it was very much a, you know, this happened today sort of a thing. And then the rest of the story... All it did was explain what you said in your opening paragraph. Right. So there was really no need. So there was no need for it because your your lead and your nut paragraph, your nutshell, were, were the same thing. But then there have always been softer kind of feature stories. And as newspapers have become a source of second-day news rather than first-day news, right. we often get softer stories. And actually, when we tell our own stories, we rarely tell our own stories by saying, you know, this happened today or this happened yesterday. We basically... Find a way to grab your attention and tell you. Well, that net paragraph is designed to keep you reading and give you a reason to care about what I have to say. Um, you know, there's a woman who, who's a blogger uh, who, who talked about, she says, you know, a story without a nut paragraph, it's, it's just a, like a walk in the woods without a path. You know you're going somewhere. You just don't know where. And the nut graph supplies the, the direction, and it tells readers this is what this story is about, and this is why you should care. This is why you should keep reading or listening. That I mean, makes sense. This is, yeah. this is really the nut, I think, of why you are here with us every week, Jerry, because this is the piece. We don't lead with the facts. We don't really have a this happened today and this is going to happen tomorrow. We do have these softer stories. Right. Do you have an example of, of something that you heard was a, like a great sure, nut sure, paragraph? Sure. A couple, couple of examples. One is um, um, this is Black History Month. And so let me give you an example that you might do for a story for Black History Month. It's something like, you know, there was nothing special about that day when the small black woman boarded the bus and dropped heavily into her seat, exhausted from right. her hard day's work. Now, that's my lead, and I've said something, nothing special happened, so I'm kind of giving you a hint that you might want to stick around because things might be getting yeah, ready to so blow something up. special might happen. Yeah, and then so my nut paragraph would be something like, but Rosa Parks made history and changed the lives of every black in America a few minutes later when she refused to give up her seat to a white man who got on the bus after her. I love it. That's my nut paragraph. Yes, okay. it is. All right. All right. So that's a good, that is a great, that is a great example. Do you have another? Well, yeah. Well, and think of a movie where you come into the movie and you don't, you're just, you don't know what's going on for the first little while and then all of a sudden the plot thickens and you know exactly. Yeah. That's a version of it uh, in terms of how movies can be structured. But there is another version, and this one actually is a little tricky because the way the story is written, the lead could just be, you know, both the lead and the nut paragraph, but because this is a story I took off the Internet. It's an actual news story, and it said experts say they have discovered what may be the cause of male pattern baldness. Now, that's a good what lead and it and, and if and if all that great, the great does, lead. yeah and if all and if all that the story does after that is explain what they've discovered I would say you know that's your nut and Done. your lead too but later on a few paragraphs down in that story it says a report in the journal 
of clinical investigation says it may be possible to cure male pattern bad, or male baldness by restoring the normal function of stem cells in your head and researchers hope to develop a cream that could do just that. Now, if you're bald, I buy that cream right now. That's the nut paragraph. If, yeah. if I were the if I were the reporter editing writing this story or if I were the editor and the story had been turned into me, I would have taken that second stuff and made it the lead. Gotcha. And made it the lead. And that's because you're the professional and you know you know how to turn that around and what, what the audience is really looking for. Jerry, can we use a nut sentence when we're writing commercials? Oh, absolutely. I don't know why not. I mean, again, all, all you're trying to do is get people to pay attention to your story and give them a reason to care. And that's what, you know, so if you're writing a commercial, you want to grab my attention and then uh, you want to give me a reason to care about what you're saying. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Jerry. Our tip from Jerry Brown comes from Jerry Brown PR. Use your nut paragraph to give us a reason to stick around for an article on today's storytelling tip on the Experience Pros radio show, go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com, where you'll also find the archive of storytelling tips where Jerry shares everything he shares here at jerrybrownpr.com. The late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR. He'll help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. He can also edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. Thank you for listening to Business Tips and Insights. Thank you, uh, Jerry, for, uh, for joining us. We appreciate that. And don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.